OK, so you join us here in the foyer of the George Porter building, which is the main teaching and research building for chemistry at the University of Leicester. The building itself is centrally located on the main University Road campus and is just two minutes walk away from the Students' Union and the large number of catering outlets that we have on campus. And it's about three minutes walk to the Central University Centenary Square, where you can find the library for additional study spaces and, of course, access to some of the books that we uh, recommend you look at alongside the lecture notes that we provide. In the foyer, you have several key areas and you'll notice throughout the tour that there's these little icons with pictures on there. And this is actually part of an interactive tour that if you head to the, the bio in this video, link on YouTube, then if you click on that um, bio, you can find um, your way to the tour so that you can pilot it yourself and you can click on the interactive elements and learn a little bit more about the school than what I'm saying just now. So you come into the main foyer and as well as having the main corridor down to the academic offices shown on the right of this screen, if we pan round, you can see the set of stairs that go up to the teaching labs and down to some of the analytical facilities. You can see the school's electronic notice board that will share with you both university news and um, school news. Um, such as research insights, uh, awards that staff have received or notifications of upcoming activities organised by the Chemistry Society. And then we come round a little bit towards the back of the foyer and you can see there's some very comfortable seating areas. And if we keep going round, there's also a, um, a raised area with lots of connectivity for laptops and charging points as well. The foyer is really just a social space and a gathering space for our students, whether it be waiting for a lecture or their lab to start, meeting here to do some informal study or just somewhere comfortable to sit during the day, maybe have a snack and, and to have some refreshments. All three of our lecture theatres open out of this foyer. And we can see that Lecture Theatre A is just round the corner there and Lecture Theatre B, which we can go into now, is just in the back left of the foyer. Our Lecture Theatres were very recently refurbished and each of Lecture Theatre A and Lecture Theatre B is able to accommodate the entire year group of around about 100 to 105 undergraduate students. All of the lecture theatres at Leicester come equipped with the very latest audio and visual equipment and anything that we present in these lectures is recorded. That's the voice, a video, um, camera angle is similar to what's on your screen here, as well as capturing stuff that we write on the interactive whiteboard and also stuff that we present using PowerPoint or any movies or any uh, websites that we might access. If every seat has a desk with it and there's actually charging points tucked away under these um, benches as well so you can charge any devices or bring your laptop to make electronic notes should you wish. If we head back into the foyer, on the other side of the foyer is a different type of lecture theatre, lecture theatre C. And this is a more interactive and more flexible space that we use and again, it was refurbished um, very recently. And you can see on the walls, there's lots of whiteboards. There's also these electronic screens that you can hook up your own devices to. And if you don't want to bring your own device to campus, then there's also IT provision in this room as well. Now, the difference in this space is the chairs are completely flexible. They're not bolted down um, like the benches in the other lecture theatre and it's so that you can position those chairs and really take advantage of the space for doing group assignments. There's lots of group work at the University of Leicester and we use this space for group teaching or teaching activities that require you to collaborate with others such as our problem-based learning and it's really important that your degree features this group work because really when you go out to work in the real world and to um, 
go and work out in industry or, or in the finance district, you're going to be expected to work as part of a team. So a degree at Leicester really prepares you for this. A few moments ago, we were in the foyer, which is just shown at the top of the screen. If you come out of that foyer into the main corridor, and there's a, there's a corridor throughout the building, of course, you'll start to find the academic offices. And in particular, in the main corridor on the ground floor, you can see the department information board. And this shows you pictures of all the colleagues, the support staff, the PhD students who teach you. And it allows you to identify people around the school, but it also features information there, such as their office location. And this is really important because under normal circumstances, all of the doors that you see along these corridors where academics are based will be open and will be available for you to um, just pop in and ask questions. Everyone's really friendly here and just wants to make sure that you have enough opportunity to ask for questions, fill in the knowledge gaps and succeed in your course. Throughout the university campus in all the buildings there are these smart printers and the smart printers allow you to print from anywhere on campus um, from a mobile phone, a computer or indeed your, your network access that you are provided. These printers are also flatbed scanners which will automatically scan um, the document for example back to your user account and this is really important because a lot of the work that you submit will be submitted electronically and if you haven't done that through word processing or you, you've, you've sketched something then it enables you to put that information into our systems. As we move down this corridor we arrive at the um, prize boards on the right hand side but also the molecular modeling lab and the molecular modeling lab is another flat teaching space like we just saw in lecture theatre c but this one is primarily set up for problem class work throughout the degree you're given ample opportunity to practice the material you've taught so that you're well prepared for your exams and when this room isn't being utilized for teaching it's very much a room that students can just help themselves to and they can treat it as an additional library space to get on with their own independent study or to meet up with others for lunch or to meet up for, with others to work on some of the group assignments that they've been set. If we move up the building in the middle corridor we have the teaching lab in the middle floor we have the teaching lab and we have one of the number of instrument rooms for your use we have three nmr spectrometers in the department and one of these three instruments is dedicated to undergraduate use as is the lcms that's shown on this screen here and we have lots of analytical facilities here that you will be trained on because it's really important that undergraduates graduate having a thorough working knowledge of the equipment that they are likely to use in their job when they graduate from university. If we continue to pan round we can see the double doors at the end of this room and this is where we go back onto the corridor and across to the teaching laboratory as well as this tour in your um, bio for this video you'll also find that there's a narrated tour of the teaching lab present as well for you to explore. Finally on the top floor of the building we have another flat teaching space that isn't featured but it looks very similar to the molecular modeling lab we saw earlier but we also have a large computer suite that is available at all times for our undergraduate students to work on their assignments, to research for literature or catch up with emails and other communications from their friends and from the staff. And this room is equipped with high spec computers which are capable of running the chemistry specific software that you will have access to as a, as a Leicester student in addition to your subscription to Microsoft Office and the chemical drawing software also. That's been a really quick tour of the department using uh, this Google Poly tour that we've put together. 
this tour and the tour of the molecular modeling lab and the teaching lab is available for you to um, explore at your leisure by clicking the link below in the um, bio for this video.